and it was a point and a goal apiece between Bromley and Barrow this afternoon. What was your take on it? Um, well, to be fair, I thought we were really flat first half. I thought we uh, we didn't look like we had any press in us. We didn't look like we sort of showed any energy. Um, so I was a little bit disappointed with first half. We just couldn't get any second balls. wasn't getting near any of the flick on. So we was we was we weren't at the races. I felt whether that's the midweek game, I don't know if it is that. I just think we probably showed them a little bit too much respect and. Um, and then couldn't get ourselves going. So that's why I made the changes at half-time. I could have changed anyone at half-time, but I made the changes at half-time. And I thought second half, um, we got at least what we deserved. You know, I, I felt we had a couple of good chances to keep, made a couple of good saves. So um, we looked a bit more like us again second half. A bit more of a threat, a bit more energy, a bit more sort of, um, a bit more guile up around the uh, final third. So I was happy with the second half and, you know, a little bit disappointed with the first half. I was going to say, correct me if I'm wrong, I can't remember you making three changes at the break before and you feel obviously that was warranted and, and helped us get the point today. Yeah, I think, that, and it's not aimed at the boys that took off, for sure. Sometimes you just got to throw the dice and um, and some days it comes off and some days it doesn't, mm. you know. And um, and even at the end, you know, we took the skipper off to give us an extra man going forward. So we, we really, you know, we're kind of having to really think and adapt in, in game situations now a lot more than we've ever done. Um, and look, we, uh, I said to the guys at half time, look, if we're going to lose, let's lose it 8 0 rather than like not having a go. Uh, you know, let's have a real go. And, we, and we, we sort of, I felt we showed that second half that we was attacking, we put them under pressure, and, um, and, and we got our rewards in the end. And bringing on Carl Jenkinson, like you just alluded to, they allowed you to push Danny and Ray further forwards, which certainly had an impact on the game. Absolutely. I mean, look, they was doubling up on Danny, and it, and it was tough for him, to be fair. And then, you know, when he's not having much joy uh, down that side, then we're a little bit susceptible to their, their, their counter-attacks down, down the opposite, well, down the same side. So uh, so that was a thought process. And then Jenko's, you know, Jenko's a wing-back, so he knows the role. And, um, you know, I thought it, was, it, it, it worked well for us in that instance, yeah, for sure. Michael Cheeks had some fitness work to do this week and you brought him back into the squad today. Was it a calculated gamble to bring him on at half-time? Um, well, look, we just got to be careful, you know, because um, he come off last week, we knew to start him, you know, it's always going to be hard then to take him off if we start him. I think we're kind of all aware of that. Um, so it was a case of let's see if we can not have to play him, to be honest. Um, but that went out the window at half-time and I thought he'd come on and, and, done and showed exactly what he's about. And the penalty as well, uh, just took all of the frustrations out on the ball then and almost took the back of the net off. Yeah, I mean, if you ever want someone on a penalty, it's, it's cheeky, isn't it? You know, he hasn't let us down too many times with the penalty. Um, I haven't seen the decision, by the way, but everyone tells me it was a penalty. So um, so I'm glad the referee uh, and the linesman, you know, done, done their job properly there, which is, you know, credit to them. Four points in two games against two good sides, not too shabby. No, it's a, it's a point in the right direction. Uh, the lads are disappointed they didn't get all three. Um, but sometimes, you know, football doesn't always, you know, it's a, it's a crazy game sometimes. You know, we brilliant the other week and didn't get nothing. Today, I thought we was pretty poor first half. Second half, we had a go and we, we get a point. Uh, like you say, four points in, in, in the week isn't in the end of the world. It's a break from Sky Bet League 2 now and into the FA Cup next week as we head to Rochdale. Yeah, looking forward to that. Um, looking forward to the teams of Rochdale and uh, yeah, we'll be hopefully the, uh, you know, putting a team out that gets us into the next round of the Cup. Andy, thanks for your time. Thank you.